Well, 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 look at this, y'all. Anderson Erickson with healthy probiotics, low fat yogurt, eggnog with other natural flavors. Ooh, -ee. keeping in theme with the pumpkin cheesecake we had last night here at the channel. Tonight is also another gluten free. And it's a six ounce, 170 gram serving. One serving per container at 69 cents for one of these, y'all. 160 calories, uh, one and a half grams of fat, one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 3%. Sodium is 115, so it's a little lower than the last one. Uh, 8 grams of protein, 27 grams of sugar, no fiber, 30 grams of total carbohydrates, and as a good source of potassium, 350 milligram, 10%. Calories from fat, 15. So, and it has uh, no vitamins, no vitamin A, 2% vitamin C, 25% calcium, iron none, vitamin D, 20%. Percent values are based on a two thousand dollar cal two thousand dollar okay two thousand calorie diet. Anderson Erickson Dairy contains active yogurt cultures, including Acidophilus and Bifidium. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but anyways, let's turn into this, you guys. All right, let's do it. Take one off. Okay, and here's it with the first layer off. It's got a little bit of moisture in there. Let's take this lid off. Okay, everybody, here it is. Let's go in for the smell. You can see the nog in there. I must say it has a very delightful smell. Delightful aroma, I should say. And uh, we're going to scoop off the 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 first layer and the it always gets caught in the seal rail right here you know this little ledge right here that's the best yogurt right there for consistency so let's try that all right everybody that light was just a little bit too much for me all right let's do it how we normally do it right about now so here it is and my taste buds are saying this has got a very similarity to cheesecake almost in the delectability category. So let's go in for a bite. Here we go. Number one. Okay, you guys. Uh, something bizarre just happened. That bite I just took had what tasted and had a texture of a peach a diced peach and it was in this eggnog i do not recall ever having those kind of things in my eggnog let's go in for bite two and see if it happens again no nope, that bite was a that was a virgin it was untainted by mislocated chunks of fruit from other yogurt flavors all right so here let's go in for another one so here we go with bite number three and i wanted to give a very nice happy shout out to zachary allen betts it's b-e-t-t-s i apologize for mispronunciation zach uh he is a very good youtuber he's got about a thousand more subscribers than we do which is not a big deal it never would be anyways uh he gave mention of our channel a very kind and friendly one and i'm very thankful for that to him and i promised him i would give his channel a mention also which was five or six videos ago and i'm delinquent and i apologize to you zach for that but here is your your shout out here in a prime time of a video review so go check his channel y'all and let him know it's a wrong thing every day he sent you and uh that will be wonderful and i will both be thankful to you for that and we can all go back and forth and help each other's channels to be seen and 
to get good quality real views. So, anyways, here's dive number three. Here we go. Man, I tell you what, the flavors are right on the money. My taste buds are doing flip flip flops and uh, jack jumping jacks over this. I'm loving this. I'm glad I picked this up. Anderson Erickson just never disappoints lately with their flavors. And it's so creamy, you guys. And I know it's not even October yet. And, and eggnog is not more popular until uh, right around Thanksgiving, shortly before that. It usually seems to flood the market. You get pumpkin spice and you get eggnog and all kinds of different concoctions that they do. You know, all the candy bars and the sodas and the craft beers and everything. Now I've got to put their little spin on it. But you know what? I'm not a drinker anymore, you guys. I haven't been a drinker for, well, about 20 years now. Found one more bite up in there. Let's get in it. Mmm. Mmm. That's the freaking delicious. So, and we're going to go in for more. Because there's some down there. 